Hey, Zach. Welcome. Well, I understand you just bought your new Toyota. Uh, what is, you got the 4Runner. My goodness, the 4Runner. What a great vehicle that is. And and I understand we've we've uh, everything's done. Now we just have to determine whether or not you need any of the uh, any of the protection packages and programs that I have available for you right here. Uh, so we can do all your paperwork. What do you say we get started? Well, I thought I just bought the Forerunner, but I guess, yeah, round two. Okay, I can do round two. Um, protection packages, I don't know if I'm so interested, but I'll, I'll listen to your spiel. Round two? This is not round two. This is, we're trying to protect the investment you've just agreed to. And all I want to do is, is offer you some products. I want you to think about them. Um, and and if, if as I'm going through it, any of them begin to make any sense to you, just let me know. It's pretty simple. I'll, I'll run through them all with you so you'll understand. Um, and if I may, I, I'm going to start with what the vast majority of our customers go with. And that is Indeed, the premium package and the premium package, Zach, just so you understand, includes an 84 month, 85,000 mile vehicle extended service contract so that your vehicle is going to be covered for the 84 months or 85,000 miles, whichever comes first, any mechanical breakdown issues, and it's covered. Nothing out of pocket for you. And then we know that you want to take good care of the vehicle, so we have a prepaid maintenance program that allows you to buy the maintenance up front at basically a wholesale price. Okay. So it's saving you money. That This is money you would be spending anyway, but this is just a way to do it where you can pay less if you pay for it up front. Okay. So I, I wanted to mention that to you. If if the amount you're financing, if you're not going to put at least 20% down, and it appears as if you're not, then what I recommend to all of our customers is gap coverage for okay. the vehicle. What gap insurance is, is God forbid you drive out of here and you have an accident. Well, your insurance company is going to pay what the value of the vehicle is, and the gap insurance cover, uh, company will pay the difference between what your insurance company pays and what you still owe. That gap between what your insurance company pays and what you owe, they're going to cover. So if you're not putting 20% down and you're not, I highly recommend the gap insurance for you. And then, you know, when, when do you There's expect more? to get... I'm telling you what most of our customers oh, buy. Okay. I just, let me go through it real quick with you. Um, the Dent Pro, I guarantee you, you're going to get dents and dings. Everybody does. You should see the dent that somebody put into my driver's door. Uh, but because I had Dent Pro on my car, guess what? It's not there anymore. So we have paintless, uh, paintless dent repair that will take care of that for you. Okay. Uh, and, and let's face it, somebody's going to, a uh, shopping cart's going to hit your car. Somebody's going to open a car door into you. I don't know how it's going to happen, but there's going to be dents and dings. And then obviously some type of theft protection. We recommend LoJack here. Okay. And LoJack is a GPS type based system um, that's placed in the car and can track wherever your car is in case it gets stolen. And just so you know, about 98% of all vehicles equipped with LoJack, if they are stolen, are recovered. Okay. And oftentimes that will get you a discount on your automobile insurance. Anything else? I think that's more than enough. So. Everything you just shared with me, yes. is that just included because I'm buying the car from y'all? Or like, that's a lot of stuff. What, like, is there a cost associated with this? Well, yeah, your, your payment for 60 months would, would go from a twelve twenty nine forty eight to $1,487.75. Um, and I know that seems like substantial, but when you think about it, all that extra coverage you're getting, it's, it's like, it's like, a drop in the bucket for all the all the coverage you're going to have on the vehicle. You are, this is the ultimate protection package for a vehicle today. And as I say, the vast majority of our of our customers, that's the program they go with. But I don't have. Oh no, to, no, 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 okay, this is you this is have, optional, right? Oh, absolutely, it's optional. Okay. You don't have, you know, I just I just want to afford you the opportunity to have the same type of protection and coverages that the vast majority of our customers have when they drive out of here. All right, I, okay, wow, okay, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for walking me through. It's a yeah. laundry list of protection packages. Yes. I had no clue there were gonna yes. be so many different offers when we first sat down. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. Can you tell me the specific 
price, not monthly payment, the specific price for each of those packages absolutely. or each of those products? A absolutely. It's, it's right there, on there for you. We're not trying to hide anything okay. from you. The, uh, the extended warranty is $4,500. Okay. Um, your paid, uh, prepaid maintenance and you're prepaying at a wholesale price is $3,400. Uh, the gap protection in case uh, anything were to happen to the car and it gets totaled, that's $999. Okay. Your dent repair is $2,000. Okay. And and your theft protection is uh, twelve hundred and eighty five dollars. So when you add all that up, I'm already spending close to sixty thousand dollars. I think more than sixty thousand dollars when you put the taxes and everything that we're financing. You want me to spend another ten thousand dollars or so? It sounds I'm, like to protect I, the car. I, I don't. I I don't want you to spend anything. I want you to be aware of what you have available to you to help protect your investment. It is entirely up to you. Um, I, I'm just, as I've said, the vast majority of our customers, this is what they buy to make sure that they're totally covering their investment so that there will be no shortfall or anything else if anything were to happen. So you mentioned you have the, I think it was called like Dent Wizard Pro or something Dent like Pro, yes. Dent, Dent Pro, yes. Do you have any of these others? Like what do you have on your vehicle? Uh, I have the prepaid maintenance and I have the uh, extended warranty. I, I put 30% down so I didn't need the gap coverage. And, uh, and honestly, I didn't do the theft protection because, well, there's only two places my car ever is. And uh, 12 to 14 hours a day, it's here in this parking lot. <laughs> and the rest of the time, it's at home in my garage. So the likelihood of it getting stolen is, is pretty remote because I spend all my time here. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, you know, I live in a pretty safe part of the city. I'm not particularly worried about the extended service contract or whatever that was called, or even the maintenance because... You know, I'm going to get the maintenance. I do a lot of maintenance myself. There's okay. a local shop that I like to go to as well. Okay. Um, the warranty piece, isn't the car under manufacturer warranty? It for, is. Yeah, for so three years, 36,000 miles. Yes. I'll worry about that in the future. Yes, yes. The gap insurance, I'd like to talk to you about my financing because maybe I will put 20% down. That's okay. something that we should talk about. And then the paintless dent repair wizard or whatever that is. I don't know. No, I, you're the wizard. It's the it's called Dent Pro. Dent Pro. And yes, and nobody can take out a dent quite like the Dent Pro. I hear you loud and clear. If that happens, I'll probably regret it. But I think for now, I'm going to pass on. I guess. I guess all of them. Unless was there like a different option that like maybe had lower prices or less of, like, or is it all or nothing? Do I have to get all of these no, no. at once? I, I, you you can get you can get our value plan, which does not include the uh, the low jack, if that would be easier for you, or perhaps the basic plan, which just includes the extended warranty, the the prepaid maintenance that you're getting at wholesale, yeah. and the gap insurance in case you don't want to put that twenty percent down. Or, you know, as a last resort, some folks, very few, um, uh, opt for the economy plan where they get just the prepaid maintenance and the and the uh, vehicle service contract. Okay. Either one is, is fine with me, whatever you may choose. My job is to just make you aware of them. Um, and, and one of the reasons that I have to make you aware of them is we live in a very litigious society. And if I don't make you aware of them and, and something happens and then you say, well, if I had known that I could have this type of protection, I, I would have gotten it. And then the next thing you know, the lawyer's jumping down my throat. I don't need to be spending time in court because at court, that's where my car good could get stolen. <laughs> so... By, I just need to, you, you need to be aware of all these things and whatever ones you do or don't want, you're going to need to initial uh, because it becomes a permanent part of your file so okay. that uh, um, if you come back and you say, well, I would have if I could have, uh, and we'll be able to show you that you had the opportunity and you, and you passed. Wow. You have a way with words. I, I have one final question for yes. you and then maybe yes. we can talk about the interest yes. rate. Yes. If let's say let's say I'm not interested in any of the stuff yes. right now in this moment, yes, would you sell it to me tomorrow? Like, is this time sensitive? Do I have to do this right now? Is it is it time sensitive? Uh, it's not time sensitive, other than the fact that if you want to include it in your loan, then it would have to go into the paperwork today. Got it. Um, if you come back tomorrow and you say yes, I want these things, um, well, then you'd have to be paying cash for it or put it on a credit card. So, you know, it's entirely up to you. Um, 
you know, if, if you're telling me you need to think about it for a night, then I can hold the bank contract for a day. Um, and if you decide you want it, then we can recontract tomorrow. No, let's get the contract done tonight. I was just curious. I'm going to pass for now. I appreciate you walking me through all of that, which was way more than I thought it was going to be. We're past today. Let's talk about the amount of money I'm putting down because maybe, maybe I don't have to worry about this gap insurance. Um, okay. Well, how much are you going to put down? Okay, so as you saw there, the finance manager was trying their hardest to never let me speak, which I always find super interesting. There was the upsell overload, all sorts of different products. You know, you have round one and you heard me in the skit say it, then there's round two. Round one, you negotiate the out the door price with the salesperson and the sales manager. And then round two is when you go to the finance office and they throw all of these different things at you. And you can see I asked some questions, so I have to do this today. What's the actual price of them? Initially, it's presented to me as like a menu of different options and like here's Here's option A, the one that all of our customers take, you should take it. And it was presented as part of my monthly payment. Do not fall down those paths. Do not go down those paths or down those rabbit holes. The moment you're talking about monthly payment, you're giving up valuable control. You wanna ask for what the actual price of these things are and always feel confident. You can say no. It's the strongest, strongest word you can use in that situation, just say no. And like I demonstrated at the end there, if you do want these things, do your research, like go back home, do your research and buy them the next day. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And if you do buy them, negotiate them. There's no reason to pay the asking price on them. It's just like the car, you can absolutely negotiate.